Hey everybody, been about five to seven days, about a week since I installed a package. And I just thought it'd be fun to open up the hive, see what's going on about uh, a week later. Some of you are wondering when you should go back in your hives after you install a package. And staying out a week to 10 days is always a good idea. Of course, you wanna make sure your queen is out and laying well. But we're gonna take a look now. The bees are really flying in uh, nicely today. Uh, bringing in a lot of pollen and nectar. So let's open it up and see if we can find the queen and see if she's laying some eggs. So I've got some burlap in my smoker. I think I got this off of some, maybe a bag of coffee beans or something I got. So you want to get your smoker going well. I'll just blow a little smoke in the entrance like that. And that kind of uh, calms down the guard bees a little bit. I want to open the hive up from the back or the side lift it up just enough to get a little smoke under the hood all right now that we've adequately smoked the hive let's go ahead and take the top off slowly I like to look under the top cover check for small hive beetle running around smash them if you see them I see one right there And I got it. All the bees now view me as their friend. <laughs> so you can see now we have this hive opened up and you can see, if you remember, uh, where we were placing the queen cage in the middle of the hive there. And so now we just kind of want to inspect this hive and see if the queen's out. First thing I'm going to do is grab the cage because it's, you know, right there. And we'll see if there's any uh, evidence of the queen being out. Oh wow, there's a, there's a lot of bees that have spread out on a lot of comb in here. In just uh, maybe five or six days, I think. That's stuck. All right, there's the queen cage. It is empty, bone dry. And as you can see, they got all the candy out. And um, so that's good to know, which probably means the queen is out, you know, obviously and healthy and laying eggs, but we, we need to make sure. Normally a hive like this, a new package is not very defensive, but I would use smoke just to make it a pleasurable experience. It helps calm the bees down. It confuses their ability to communicate uh, when you smoke them like this. That should do it. Before I put my smoker down, you know, I, I just want to go ahead and puff really good to kind of keep everything burning good because if I get mesmerized by my inspection, well, then I forget to smoke, uh, keep the smoker going and all at once I need it for some reason. So before I put it down, I'm going to get it charged up again. That's it. Okay, now we can set the smoker down. And I like to start the inspection off to one side over here, like this frame. It doesn't look like bees are really over this frame very much. This will give me a little bit of room to actually maneuver my frames without rolling or killing bees on other frames. Sometimes frames aren't drawn out beautifully even. And so by sometimes pulling frames up in the middle without allowing some space, um, it can kill bees. So now I've got a little space going on. So what I'm gonna do is just Pull these frames toward me a little bit. Work in slow motion and just work like this. Pleasurable experience. Think happy thoughts. No reason to be all worried and upset, anxious, scared. Just work bees like you're drawing a, maybe drawing a painting, drawing a picture. Now, you may wonder why I've isolated this frame here. It's because, in my wildest imagination, I, I assume the queen is on here. I'm just taking a guess, but I'm going to go for broke here and lift that frame out to see if my queen is out walking around on that frame. And if she isn't, I'm going to look at the other frames. I'm also going to be checking for eggs. I've got my high power reader glasses on 3.0. Helps me see deep into the cells. 
Now grab the frame by its ears and lift up very slowly. You notice how I've allowed space between the other frames. I'm going to rotate it toward me like this and I just start looking for the queen and other resources. Well, I'll let you look. Great group of bees. Some nectar is in the comb. They've been working hard on crab apple, all the spring trees. Our black locust is now blooming. It's beautiful. I see some bees with pollen on their hind legs. But, oh, I'm, I'm thinking it's a marked queen. Uh, I better stop thinking that way and start looking just for a queen. I can't remember if she's marked or not. So let's go back to looking for a queen that may not have a green dot. I think I was just looking for green. Can't remember if this queen is marked or not. Well, I put this package in on drawn comb. So obviously they're miles ahead, right? All right, I don't see the queen on this frame. Nope. I'm going to leave it outside the hive. I'm going to park it and lean it right there. I'm going to go back to my smoke just a little bit. I'm going to puff my smoker, keep it going well. Just a little bit of smoke to kind of keep the bees calm. It's a nice day, but it's late in the day. It's about 4 o'clock. And bees are wrapping up foraging, I think. So a lot more bees are home. I like to work bees when they're out foraging. All right. Second frame, looking for the queen. I got a waggle dance going on. You see that waggle dance? Let's just study those waggle dances for a minute. It's cool. All right, back to looking for the queen. I don't see her. I was hoping it'd just be a green dot. Makes it easy, doesn't it? All right, I don't see the queen on this frame either. Check the other side again. I was just mesmerized by the green, uh, by the waggle dance that I forgot to check the queen. All right. Now I'm looking really quick so I can miss her. Sometimes in my videos I'll be doing this and you guys will say, you know, I'll be showing you a frame and you'll be like, I see her, he missed her, darn it. And you'll give me a time like, Six minutes and 20 seconds, you can see the queen. <laughs> well, you got the advantage of you're at home looking at a computer screen. I'm sweaty behind a hat and a veil. All right, let's look at this frame. This frame has a little bit of it's a super frame and a deep box I do that sometimes and uh, it they've drawn out a little bit of uh, about three inches down there on the bottom okay I see resources like pollen nectar but I do not see any eggs yet nor do I see the Queen now I'm pretty confident the Queen is here and um, Laying eggs. Oh, wonderful. There she is at the end of my comb here. Let me get her in my, in my, let's see if I can get her in the sight for you. Oh yeah, you see her now, don't you? See the green dot? Having a mark queen really makes it easier to find her. I'm just going to hold on to her let you watch her for a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is look at this frame to see if she has eggs in this frame. Maybe she'll lay an egg. Alright, let me look for eggs. Um, I am in the shade, so I'm going to walk out of the set and take this frame in the sunshine. I'll be right back. Now, this is always tough because... Um, showing eggs with bees on top of 
the cells are always it's always difficult so I'm just gonna try to move my finger like this like the queen is right here at the tip of my finger she's laying an egg right now so we know she's a laying queen so you're laying an egg there so that means there's other eggs here but I don't know if you can see it let me move some of the bees around and kind of bring it in closer Anyway, uh, I always like to keep maybe five to ten packages that we sell. We sold a lot of packages this year, so I like to hang on to some, and I just evaluate them like this. You can see these bees are so gentle. I don't even need a hat and a veil. But anyway, I, I wear one just to keep bees off my face, and I love how gentle these bees are. That queen is so big and prolific, walking around having fun. So at this point, I'm done inspecting uh, this frame. I'm done inspecting this hive. And you are too. Like if you're looking at a hive like I am today, you're wanting to know if, you know, your queen is out laying eggs and all. By, by all means, this is the way you want to do it. And um, it's fun. Okay, I'm back. And she has a beautiful laying pattern of eggs already. Let's make sure she's not going to get on wood where I would smash her. All right, so I've just placed that frame back in. I'm going to get a little smoke on these other frames so I can pick them up and put them back in. Try to as best you can to put them back in in the same order, same configuration you took them out. Not essential, but why not? Try not to be jerky or bangy when you're working bees. Be gentle, work in slow motion, like I'm doing here. Okay, I like everything I'm seeing. I'm surprised that the bees have drawn, uh, not really drawn out comb, because I already gave them drawn comb, but how much they've taken advantage of it and expanded so much. So this hive, it's ready for another deep. My last frame is going to go in right here. And then we're done looking into this hive. All right. I'm going to smoke across the top just to kind of run bees down. I don't want my queen or anybody getting up here and getting killed. Hey, everybody, thanks for watching our YouTube video channel. I really enjoy making these beekeeping uh, videos for you. I'm David Burns, and you can check us out at honeybeesonline.com. I have a ton of resources on beekeeping. Uh, we have a lot of online classes. I have a personal mentorship program where I uh, accept 200 beekeepers around the country, and I work with them exclusively to help them through all their beekeeping needs through the course of a year. And uh, check that out, too, on my website, honeybeesonline.com. Also, uh, we'd love for you to subscribe. Wow, subscriptions are just popping like crazy. Thank you. I really do appreciate that. I'm really uh, honored that so many of you are subscribing to my beekeeping channel. As always, I want to thank you, and I'll keep pumping these out. I'll see you next time.